Expectations is an important term in dog training because it's really the difference between a dog who truly understands a skill and one who does it like a trick or one who makes their own choice and chooses to do it whenever they want to. We're going to talk about that today in our two minute training terms. I'm Ken Steep. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now here comes the part where I play G chord on my acoustic guitar and hippie shake our toy poodle barks twice. back to McCann Dogs. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. This is our two minute training term series where I try to explain to you in two minutes or less of a word or a phrase in dog training to help you better understand how your dog thinks and to help you better train your dog. So let's not waste any more time. Let's put two minutes on the clock and here we go. With a young dog, we can't have any expectations of them to know a skill or to do a trick or to perform some sort of action without having put in the work first, without having tr taught them how to be right. We can't assume because our last dog was really good at something that our new dog will be the same. Every dog is different and we need to put in that effort and put in that work to train them how to be right. All right, Rad, we've got three pieces of evidence here. We've got a fingerprint that was taken from the crime scene. We have six items that were also discovered, but most importantly, we found their escape method. They used this strange looking bee thing to repel it at the second story window. Now I'm gonna leave this with you for an hour. I want the full report on my desk. All right, Rad, it's been an hour, and basically all you've done is you've chewed on the escape tool and drooled all over the table. Uh, our old dog, Scooby-Doo, would have had this thing handled in like probably 20 minutes. What's your problem? Once your dog has a clear understanding of a skill or a behavior, and he's right 99% of the time, at that point, you can raise that bar. You can uh, set that level of expectation to that point, but you've helped him get there. And to make sure that he maintains that speed and uh, that accuracy, keep that level of expectation high. Next is consistency of expectation. So every member of the household needs to have the same level of expectation for their dog. Spouses, I'm talking to you. It wouldn't be fair to expect your dog to not beg at the table and have one of the family members feed them. Or not allow your dog to put their teeth on you and have one of the family members think that it's a fun game. Or not allow your dogs to counter surf. And uh, I don't mind it once in a while. I mean, look, they think they're people. No pulling on the leash means no pulling on the leash, regardless of the scenario. Dogs are so situational that if I were to allow the dog to pull when walking to the park and insist on a loose leash when uh, you know I'm walking anywhere else, it just isn't fair. It just doesn't make sense to them. That means you need to train in different environments. Maintain those same high expectations regardless of where you are. You're going to practice your recall at the park, in the backyard, maybe near the dog park, or you know in a wide open space with lots of distractions. But you need to maintain those same high expectations regardless of the location. Maintain the same levels of high expectation for your dog throughout their life is really important and if it happens that they find a new distraction that they're absolutely crazy about or a new location where they're not listening as well take a step back that's a great opportunity to train them through that situation and make sure that they're safe give you the freedom to know that your dog is going to listen to you when you need them to did i make it am i under two minutes We're getting closer though I hope you enjoyed this episode of Two Minute Training Terms and I hope you found it helpful. If this is your first time with us on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. And if you're already subscribed, hit that bell notification icon so that you know every time we publish a video. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training. Don't forget to do something awesome with your dog today.